but let's just kind of go through this as much as possible. <laughs> so again, the thing we're practicing, without knowing anything how to solve, we just need to convert to exponential form, right? We have a logarithm. To solve for x, we have to convert it to our exponential form, yes? Is this page 103 number 9? Uh, yes. So therefore, I rewrite this as x squared equals 5x. All right. We have to make sure that we can convert to exponential logarithmic and logarithmic to exponential. All right. It's a central skill that was in a previous homework that we've been practicing. So now we're in this point. So now we need to see, all right, can we solve for x? It's x squared equals 5x. So it's log base x of 5x equals 2. Now we get to a problem. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, if you remember, if I have an equation like this, whatever, we know we solve, we isolate the x, right? That's basic. Even if it was an x squared plus 2 equals 5, whatever, is if there's only one x, we can isolate the x or, and then solve. If there's a couple x's, then we try to combine like terms, combine the x's into one, and then we solve. But here, we can't combine them because that's a quadratic and this is a linear, right? You can't combine them. They're not like terms. So we practiced how do you solve how do you solve when you have more than one variable and it's a quadratic? Well, there's three methods that we discussed in this class. The three, the three methods are, well, you can't use a square root because if you take the square root, x equals plus or minus the square root of 5x. Your answer now has x in it, right? So there's a problem trying to solve it like we would before. If there's only one x, if this was just 5, then yeah, that works. But we have 5x. So we can't have x in the answer. So there's been th three processes that we practice for solving quadratics. One rhymes with quadratic formula. Well, it doesn't rhyme with. It is a quadratic. So you could use the quadratic formula. You could use completing the square. Or you could use factoring. So to do all of those, how to, find, how to solve for x, we've got to set it equal to 0. So you subtract 5x. So you get x squared minus 5x equals 0, right? Now, there's two different ways. You know, now we apply our rule, either quadratic formula, completing the square, or factoring. Well, we look at this and we say, well, I can factor out an x. So if I factor out an x, I'm left with x minus 5, or x times x minus 5 equals 0. Now I can apply the zero product property, which states is saying you know, when I multiply two numbers and they equal 0, then we know one or more um, equals 0. So therefore, my answer is x equals 0 or x equals 5. So yes, there are going to be two different values for this. OK? Huh? 5x. I subtracted 5x on both sides. You mean, oh, you mean instead of putting the x squared over there? Yeah. yeah, it doesn't matter. You're still going to have to factor out an x, right? And then what I would do is factor out a negative x. Still gives you the same answer. OK. Um, yeah, and there you go. I don't know.